Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to talk about what to do when you're feeling stuck in life. Let's jump in. Hey guys, what's going on? Glad you're here. Welcome back to another video. As stated before, today's video is about what you should do when you feel stuck in life. And we've all been there before. What I mean when I say stuck in life is you may feel lost. You may feel depressed. You may feel confused. You may be doubting yourself, not knowing what to do next, and really don't know how to get out of it. Again, we've all been there, and I've been there many, many times. It's obviously the genesis of this video because I've actually been experiencing it recently. So I'm here to share with you what's worked for me as far as starting to get out of the funk, and then also some of the resources and things I've been doing, some of the epiphanies I've been having, what I've been writing about in order to kind of shift that mindset. So why do we get stuck? And where does this come from? What do I mean by that? Again, you may feel like you don't know what the hell you're doing in life. You're completely lost. Uh, you've been doing the same shit. You just know one thing, you're not happy. If that is you, there's a couple things that I'll bring to light for you that may be the reason why. First of all, think of it like this. When you are, you ever seen that picture of like a truck that's driving in snow or like, uh, you know, I don't know, out in the swamp or something and the tires are stuck, right? And all of a sudden, they are gassing it and they're doing nothing but spinning their tires and digging a deeper hole into the mud. They're stuck. Think about something like that. What gets that truck out of the mud? Asking for help, getting another truck to pull you out. So that could be reaching out to other people, asking for help, talking about whatever the hell is going on. And then also what I've realized for myself is that getting stuck means that I'm not taking enough action. In other words, whatever I feel stuck with, and the personal example that I'll share with you is with my business. It hasn't been growing the way that I've wanted it to. And so I've had to take a hard look at myself and what I have and have not been doing. And I just haven't been congruent. I haven't been taking the actions. I haven't been making as much content. I haven't been reaching out to as many people. I haven't been connecting with other people, uh, my mentors, and just getting out and doing more in order to spark that activity. Because if you think about it, a lot of the times when we get stuck, it's because we're not moving. And if we're not moving, we're literally just not taking enough action. You might be you know, sitting around your house all day. You might be you know, in the same job, going through the same cycle, doing the same thing. You have to do something, maybe more of it, or if you're already super busy and you're just stuck in the monotony of a cycle, you know, going to work, you get off, you watch Netflix, you eat like shit, whatever, you may need to do something different. So you feel stuck in life because one, you either need to pivot and do something completely different, or two, you need to do more of whatever you think will move you forward. For me, again, I realize I need to be making content, I need to be taking action and reaching out to people, uh, talking to my mentor specifically, I'm going to join some local networking groups, I'm just gonna be more diligent in my process. And so again, feeling stuck is because you're not taking enough action or you're doing the same shit and you're spinning your wheels just like that truck stuck in the mud. You need to ask for help, you need to get some forward momentum going. And it's really easy to do this because when we're going through the motion so often or we aren't seeing the progress that we want and maybe we have been putting in the work, that shit gets discouraging. And you start to question yourself, right? And that's, again, my own personal example. I'm sitting here, you know, had a, I lost a couple of clients and I was sitting here thinking, and I haven't really built, you know, out my systems all the way. Again, note for me, I haven't been putting in the work to really refine and build the, you know, um, all, all the processes and things that I need to have in place in order to really to get this thing to run right. So it comes down to not taking enough action and when you're stuck and you're not doing these things, this is when we begin to doubt ourselves. And this was my thought process. I was like, shit, am I even doing the right thing? Is this even working? Am I even helping anybody? Should I even be doing this? Should I go back and just get a regular job and you know rethink about what I wanna do? And so I thought about doing that and my thought process was this. 
okay, let me go get a, a regular job and you know do whatever in sales or in an office or just even something on the side uh, like waiting tables again or something like that right and my thought process was I've done that so many times already I go back and I'll get into these places where I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go and make some money and be comfortable and then I'll figure it out you know where I always end right back up is here wanting to be creative wanting to do my own thing wanting to coach and train people and this is what I enjoy and what I'm good at and that was the other epiphany epiphany I had is oftentimes when we feel stuck it's because you're coming up against that resistance or that barrier that's always been there and that you always turn back or fail at and the opportunity is to continue to go and that's what I realized for me you know if I have to go get a little side job right now that's cool but if I give up and I turn back now, it means that I'm not going to break past this barrier and this is literally could be the moment that I need in order to forge the new identity, forge my business onto a new level, create this new lifestyle that I want. So at times when you're coming up against that barrier and you feel stuck, again, it's because you need to generate more action, more energy in order to break through the barrier that's always been there in order for you to get to the next level. That's where I'm currently at. So the doubt will come in, you'll question yourself, you'll wonder if you're doing the right things, but really, you just have to keep going and you've got to take an honest look at yourself and your life about the things that you are or are not doing that are working for you. So for me, Again, I realized I was, uh, you know, kind of just sitting too much at home, like in my head, thinking about what do I need to create? What's the content I need to put out? What am I doing? And what I realized I needed to do was reach out to the other coaches in my network, reach out to more friends, go schedule more group workouts, um, talk to my mentors and my coaches more, like jog, you know, get something to kind of kick myself in the ass. Like, what am I doing? What am I not seeing? Sometimes the only way we can shed light on what it is that's holding us back is by asking for help. You may or may not heard of the analogy or the description that when you are in the picture and you're posing for the picture, you can't see the entire thing because you're the one posing. But if you step out and all of a sudden we look at this picture together, well now you can see everything in that picture. You're not the one posing in the picture, right? If I'm looking at the camera, shit, I can't see everything behind me and knowing what's going on, we need to step outside of the picture. Sometimes the best way to do that is by asking for help and asking for feedback. So that can be extremely valuable, especially when you're feeling stuck. If you're in a place where you're feeling stuck in life and you're feeling down and it's you're in depression and you're feeling like shit and you really don't wanna to talk to anyone, this is the time that you actually need to talk to someone the most and you probably don't want to because I get it, I've been super depressed before, I've been like suicidally depressed and really low, so I've been there. I know you don't wanna to talk to anyone, you don't wanna do anything. The irony is the very thing you need to do is the thing that you don't wanna do the most, which is talk to people, which is to get up and go and exercise because again, you're stuck. You gotta think of it as your feet are in the mud, you're just sitting around, you're not doing enough. This is a sign, the sadness, the depression is like a message from your soul telling you that you're sad and you're depressed because you're not doing the shit that you know that you're meant to do and what you're capable of. And the only way to get yourself out of that rut is to get in motion, get moving, get, get going. And that's, you know, again, what I found uh, is honestly the truth of the matter. There's no other fix than that. You got to do the shit that you don't necessarily want to do, which is reach out and get moving physically, get moving mentally. Um, whether it's you know just watching uh, some some motivational shit on YouTube or whatever, whether it's uh, reading a book, um, you know something that just starts to shift your energy and your mindset, or going for an extra long walk, or you know take a journal or even just headphones and just go sit in the park, get outside, do something. Um, you know you have to do something in order to kind of get the energy going, get the emotion going. So. Just to review, a couple things I recommend. Reach out to people even though you might not want to do it. Get some feedback. You've got to take an honest look at yourself and understand that you've got to get moving. For me, it's always exercise. If you just get up and go for a run, or you can just sit in your you know house, your room, your apartment, do 500 jumping jacks, do 100 burpees. I guarantee whatever is bothering you right now and you feel like shit about, 
when you're sitting there out of breath, you know, and all that sadness and that anger, whatever's coming out or the frustration or, you know, the grief or, you know, whatever emotion it is, when you're sitting there out of breath like hell, you're not really going to be thinking about whatever problems you're thinking about right now. You might come back to it, but at least you're starting to shift your energy because that's what it is. Since we're all energy, you got to shift your energy. You got to get up. You got to move. You got to do shit. And that's what it's about. My best friend used to always tell me, and I used to have this problem, and I still do to an extent, is that I would read all these books and do all this shit, but I wouldn't do anything about it. And so I would tell him, I'm like, man, I got all these ideas. I know what I'm capable of. I'm going to do all this great shit. And he goes, that's awesome, bro. He goes, that's awesome. But you haven't done anything. You haven't done anything yet. You got to go do shit. You got to go do shit. You got to get off your ass and you got to do shit. So for me, again, today I've got a workout scheduled. Uh, I scheduled a workout with a buddy at 11. Um, I scheduled all these coaching calls with my clients tomorrow just to check in to make sure they're good. You know, I have a goal of putting out two YouTube videos a week. And I realized for me, this is another thing that I'll share with you, a, a little gem that can put you in the right direction, is just do something that makes you feel good. Do something that makes you feel good. And it's really that fucking simple. It sounds crazy, but just do something that makes you feel good. And to be clear, I'm not saying do something that makes you feel good that distracts you from the pain that you're in. So like smoking and drinking, uh, you know, going out and partying and chasing girls, or just scrolling all day for that quick dopamine fix. Don't do that shit. Do something that actually will make you feel good. Eat a good meal. Cook for yourself. Go for a quick jog. Um, read a book. Go out in public and just go sit at a coffee shop and try to interact with people. Do something that's actually really good for you that will make you feel good. And this will jumpstart you. So the reason I bring this up is because the YouTube videos for me this is something that I'm committed to for the long term and that I'm serious about. What I've realized is sometimes I'll stall on making these videos because when I want to make them about fitness, it's a little more of an involved process because there's planning and there's more education going. But what I've realized is I don't need to do shit because this is actually what I enjoy the most, which is more of the personal development, the stuff about your, your mind, your heart, your soul, your purpose. This is what... I know that I really have a passion for, not that I don't have a passion for fitness, obviously I do, I'm you know, preparing for bodybuilding competition and stuff too. They're both very important parts, but what I've also realized about fitness, it's interesting being a coach, is that when I coach people on their minds and their approach and how they're doing things in that regard, it's crazy how quickly their body shifts and how easy it is for them to get to the gym. It's no longer a, ha it's like not a struggle anymore. They're not worried about logging their food. They see the benefit. They enjoy it. They want to do it because their mindset has shifted. So this is really the way that I enjoy really um, getting through to people and making an impact, which is speaking and sharing these lessons that I've learned in the past that I'm still continuing to learn and practice to this day. So as it pertains to you, if you're feeling stuck in life, Get up and actually move physically. Right now, do 50 push-ups, do 100 jumping jacks, do freaking 50 burpees, go for a jog, go to the gym, go walk your dog, go outside, get some fresh air, go to the park, go to a cafe, um, even go see a movie, whatever. Just get out and get moving, go and do something. The next thing is to go and talk to somebody. Reach out to people. Go talk to uh, someone on BetterHelp if you need to talk to like a therapist. Go hire a therapist. Um, call a trusted friend or a family member or, um, you know, just reach out to anybody. Um, it, it's incredibly helpful to start connecting and talking with other people. And you'll realize that one, you're not alone. There's people that do care about you. You're not just the only one going through your own shit. And then two, they can offer some valuable feedback to help you grow, to help you change, to help you shift. But in the end, you're the one that really has to do something different in order to get a different result. And I know it's so simple, but it really is. And so for me, again, it's just getting on camera and speaking. Quit delaying, making a YouTube video and having this elaborate fucking plan. Get on here and film. It's not about my equipment. It's not about, you know, not having the right time or needing it to be perfect and shit. I just need to get on here and share a message because I know that no matter what, I'm speaking from the heart with intention and from experience. I know that even if one person watches this shit and it helps, it really does make a fucking difference. I know that because when I've watched stuff from people that I don't even know, I don't realize 
how much I needed to hear what they had to say until I heard it. And then also on that note, you don't realize the value that you have that somebody needs to hear the message from you. It may be the same message because in the end, what you'll notice is you get in a personal dump. It's all the same shit. But what happens is it's your delivery. It's who you are that may change someone's perspective and allow them to hear it in a way that hits for them. We've heard these things like a million times before, but you may hear it from that one person you never heard it for that you actually relate to and go, oh shit, it actually clicks. So you've got something to share. You've got a song to write, a poem or a play or a book or a message or whatever it is that you've got to share that really will help somebody even if you don't think so, especially when you don't think so. So get out, if you're feeling stuck, get out and move around physically. That's the first thing I can say. Read a book, watch a video, just get out of your actual physical environment and get your body moving, get the chemistry moving in your body, the energy, reach out, talk to people, and then take a hard look at yourself and make an inventory on what the things are that you need to change. I've mentioned this book before in my earlier videos, but I'll mention it again. I just started reading for the second time around the book Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. I actually have it right here, I'll show you. I highly recommend this book and this is kind of what sparked um, some more uh, action for me and a shift in my mindset. And what this book is about is it talks about your self-image. And his story, to keep it brief, he was, a, he was, God rest in peace, a plastic surgeon. And what he found is that he would do these uh, facial reconstruction surgeries, even something simple as removing like a scar from someone's face or something. And they would literally overnight become an entirely different person. Someone that was like ashamed and had all no confidence and shit would become an entirely different person and just go on to crush their goals and create this amazing life. And then he also noticed he would have these surgeries of people that were somewhat drastic, right? Of all different varying degrees, like another facial reconstruction, constructive surgery, but these people would still feel like shit and see themselves as being ugly and not good enough. So what he realized is that the physical of actually what we see, but more importantly, our mental image of ourselves and how we view ourselves is what's really important. So when you begin to shift that mental image of yourself, you will start to create the behaviors and the habits in your life that are congruent with that positive self image that you have. And again, it's funny, we've all heard this shit, but it may be from me or from that book or something that you need to hear that will actually allow you to have the shift. Because when I was feeling stuck and I'm just starting to break out of it again, my thought process was, what's the identity I'm taking on? You know, what's my self image? And I realized I was putting off this self image of like, this struggling entrepreneur, this uh, business or this uh, fitness coach who was doubting himself and his mission and if he should do this shit. And then my, I, when I realized that and I kind of, again, stepped out of the picture instead of posing it, I was like, fuck man, I'm sitting here viewing myself as a struggling entrepreneur. I'm viewing myself as someone who's doubting themselves. I'm viewing themselves who's got uh, someone who's got an unclear vision. And I was like, that's not me, man. I know exactly what the hell I want. Like, what am I doing? My thinking is just messed up. I was like, I know that I'm a competitive bodybuilder who's gonna go for their pro card, who's very passionate about fitness and helping people with their lives. I have an extreme passion for public speaking. I know I'll write other books for coaching people in order to be the best versions of themselves. This is what I'm passionate about. I know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And the only way I can be really effective in, in, in this is if I'm embodying it and I'm, in, I'm doing it. So that's why I got out of my head and I was like, who am I really? And who am I creating myself to be? I was like, I know what I want. I'm gonna have a successful YouTube channel. I'm gonna document, help a lot of people with their lives, with their fitness, with their health, with their purpose. And the way that I'm gonna do that partly is by YouTube videos. I was like, get on here and share this because if you're hearing this message for yourself or creating this clarity, chances are someone out there needs to hear this message too. So I hope this has been valuable for you. And I just want you to get moving. If you feel stuck in life, it fucking sucks. There's nothing worse than just sitting there knowing that you're capable of what you want and knowing what you want, but just not being able to figure out. You just need to get your ass moving. You gotta just get your ass moving. You gotta get up, move around physically and go for a run, do all that physical shit. And then you gotta shift yourself mentally. What's the image that you're, you're portraying of yourself? Are you portraying yourself as this you know, helpless man or woman who, you know, is struggling and oh, woe is me, I can't figure, if you're thinking of yourself at that, well then yeah, that's why you're feeling like shit. 
but you're capable of what you want. So think about what you want in life and you have to think about who's that version of me that is living that life. Is it the person sitting around not doing a whole lot or is it the person who's vibrant, who's out there meeting a shit ton of people, who's having an impact on other people's lives, who's making a lot of money, who's living an amazing life with an amazing family and partner and all these things. You gotta start being that person and you gotta shift and imagine yourself visually who that guy or girl is and then you gotta start just get moving and when you get moving, things will start getting in action and taking place. So um, again, I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you watching and you can expect a lot more videos coming from me. Oh, excuse me, early, early morning here. Um, and I've been talking nonstop, so I need to take a deep breath, right? So that's what yawning is. So uh, I hope this video is valuable. Please like, subscribe, comment to the channel, and feel free to ask me any questions. Man, I got my email in the description all the time. Uh, reach out to me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm more than happy to chat uh, if you have any questions or comments or want to talk about anything. Uh, my only intention is to share my own personal struggles and experiences with the hope that they help you and other people like you because shit, you ain't the only one feeling this stuff. That's why I'm making this video because um, I get it. So uh, I'll see you next time. I appreciate you watching. Peace.